okay so this question 22 um is also part of 2024 mathematics paper one gce uh, yes and it's question 22 so six marks meaning this is where you can get a lot of marks guys make sure you solve this question those who are writing uh, in october is it october november somewhere there and next year which is 2025 gce now the diagram below shows a sketch of the graph of y is equals to x squared plus 3x plus 2. So this is the graph, okay? Passing through the points A and B here, even this even this point, right? Yes, but it, um, they didn't indicate here, so I think there's no use to find, finding this point. Okay, um, so the first question here is saying, find the coordinates of A and b oh wow nice a and b now listen and listen very very carefully this is the x-axis and the value of y here in the x-axis is zero so here y is equals to zero you should know that in the x in the y-axis the value of x in the y-axis is zero so if you want to find the value of x here in the x-axis here we should substitute y with it exactly zero in the x-axis in the y-axis as well if you want to find any point in the y-axis you should substitute x with it zero let's do exactly the start okay so let's first find a so to find a we're going to substitute y with a zero so solutions here a question a one we suppose it's zero where in the this function so let's write down the function y is equals to x squared plus 3x plus 2. okay since y is zero in the x-axis we're going to substitute y with zero but let me just write it like this x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0 is the same as when you put 0 this side okay is equals to 0 let's now calculate now let's let's solve the value of x by factorization so we're going to find the product of a and c and a is the number in front of x squared which is simply one then c is the constant here which is just two so one times two is two so the product is two then the sum sum is b and what is b b is positive three check this out look for two numbers or two factors of of two such that when you multiply them should give you positive two when you add them should give you positive three it is the same one and three and two now use the same factors you found to split b okay use these two to split this one so that we factorize by grouping that's the all essence of doing this we factorizing by grouping so it will be x squared replaced with one post is the positive one so we can write we can write positive one x let's write uh, x positive two x then this one write it the way it is like this is equals to zero okay now we have four terms we can factorize by grouping so this these two and these two what is common here x is common okay we can see that x is common x into x squared it is just x x there's a positive number and there's a positive here and this is positive so it just will be just be plus x into x is just one common factor here is two two into two x we just remain with x positive positive just a positive 2 into 2, 1 is equals to 0. Now, 
you can check here if what we are doing is correct. If what is in the bracket here is the same, just know that you are doing the right thing. Okay? But if what we are doing here is different, ah, <laughs> uh, probably, ah, not not probably, you may be doing, you, may, you are solving, you are um, doing something wrongly. Okay? So, you have how many terms? You have two terms. You have this one and this one. What is common between these two terms? You will find that x plus 1 is common. Open bracket. Just write this x which is outside here and the plus 2 which is outside here. Why doing this is the same as, since this is common, you, you factorize now by common factor. X plus 1 is common, X plus 1 is common. So X plus 1 into X plus 1 remains with X. X plus 1 into X plus 1 remains with 2. This is what we have. Now, we, want to find, we don't want to factorize. If you're just factorizing, the, uh, the answer would have been this. Since there's an equal sign here, meaning we want to find the actual values of X. Mm -hmm. Now, you can just write X plus 1 is equals to 0, equate to 0, or x plus 2 is equals to 0. Then solve for x. x is equals to, when my positive 1 crosses the cosine, becomes negative 1. Or when this uh, positive 2 crosses the cosine, it becomes negative 2. So we have two answers, negative 1 and negative 2. Which one are we going to get? Check. This is the center and zero. There is this. So it means, so these, uh, the, our answers te are telling us that the curve is cutting x axis as two points on the negative, on the negative side. The other one is negative one, and the other one is negative two. And they are asking us to find the, this coordinate and this coordinate, not this one. So we are not going to consider this one we're going to consider this one so you can say the coordinates of a what is the value so it's x is negative 2 what is the value of y we've substituted y with what zero because y in the x-axis is zero okay and listen and listen very carefully the the, the value of y here is the constant number. The value of y b here is a constant number. Let's, let's solve. Let me show you that you can just get 0, 0,2. y is equal to, let me use different color, so that you see what I'm doing. Um, hmm. Where is that pen? Okay, it's okay. Let's proceed. Y is equals to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Remember, we're finding B. What is the value of x? So we're going to substitute x with what? Wherever there is x with 0, like we've done for y. So y is equals to 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus 2. So y is equals to, this is 0, this is 0, is equals to 2. Therefore, b, the coordinates of b will be not 2, 0, but you all start with x, 0, 2. So here is going to be b is 0, 2. It's as simple as this. Okay? Simple as this. Now, listen. We are asked to find the minimum turning point. It's just at the minimum value of the curve. Okay, and the minimum value is where there is this standing, the y value of the turning point, in other words. So the answer should be negative. That is just a secret because it's on this negative side and it's just down here. Minimum usually is negative most of the times. Now, um, what is the formula for minimum value? It is very simple. Let's solve it from this side. The formula is y is equals to 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Mm -hmm. Then let's substitute 
y is equals to 4. What is the value of a in this equation? a is 1. So we're going to substitute with 1. What is c? c is the constant number, which is just 2. Minus, what is b? 3, and it'll be just 3 squared, divided by 4, multiplied by a, which is just 1. Okay? I hope you are following. Okay? If you, you know, if you like this channel and uh, the teaching and how things are explained, consider subscribing, guys, even liking the video. Let's proceed. Now, since we're not using a calculator here, so you can't punch everything on the calculator, so we simply just simplify, make it simple. Okay? 4 times 1 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 8. So you get just write 8 minus 3 squared, it is 3 times 3 which is just 9, 4 times 1 is just 4, is equals to, y is equals to 8 minus 9 is negative 1 over 4. So this is the answer. Negative 1 over 4 is the minimum value. Okay. Minimum value. Oh, there is a last question. It's not under this topic. It's under indices. Okay. So let's solve it as well. Okay, because it's part of this question, which is question B. We are asked to solve the equation 81 minus 27 to the power x is equals to 0. Listen, and listen very carefully. So here, let's just leave the number which has an x on the, right, on the left side. Okay, let's take the 84 to the other side. So this side will just remain with negative 27 to the power x is equals to 81. Oh, negative 81 because the sign will change since it's positive. When it crosses the cosine, the sign will what? The sign changes. Okay, now you can say divide both sides by negative 27, negative 27. <clears throat> this is not 27xc. It is 7 27 to the power x, negative 27 to the power x. So what you do, first let's divide by negative so that you get rid of um, negative 1, even this are negative 1, so that you get rid of the negative, you just deal with positive numbers. So 27x to the, power, to the power x is equals to negative, divided by negative is positive, so you can just write neg uh, positive 8 to 1. Then when you reach uh, here, this stage, you need now to make bases the same. How can you make these two having the same bases? Which number can we or can you use or can we use? We use, we know that we can't use two. No. There's no way two can give us 27. The rest of the power, any number give us 27. Three, yes. Three to the power 3 is what? This is 27. So the x is there. Now can it, it want to be written to the power of 3? Yes. I mean to the base of 3? Yes. It can be written as 3 to the power 4. Okay. 3 to the power 4. Now bases are the same just to get the powers. When you get the powers it will be 3 times x, 3x, this is equals to, just get the power there, 4. So over 3, over 3. Then this 3 and this 3 cancel. Therefore, x is equals to, so this is improper fraction, so you can leave it as a mixed, uh, mixed fraction. 3 into 4, 1, the remainder 1 over 3. And this is the answer. Now, you can check if... Now, you can prove if your answer is correct, but don't, this, don't do this in the, in the exam. So you can say, you can say, is this visible? Ah, it's not. How about this one? Somehow. So you can say, substitute 4 over 3, where there is 27 for x. Since x is this one, you can just write 27 to the power 4 over 3. Okay? What is the answer? We should find x1. 
Okay. So, remember what I usually say that if a base is raised to a negative to a fractional power, the base the denominator of the fraction becomes the root. So it will be the cube root of 27 to the power 4. Which number when you multiply itself three times, it should give you 27. It is a 3. So it will be 3 to the power 4. And what is 3 to the power 4? 81. Okay? 81. So our answer here is 100% correct. Remember to subscribe, guys. Comment. Okay. This is the only way you can help uh, the channel grow. As we proceed to the next question, um, please just like the video.